Well, winter is here and I can finally wear my T-Team sweatshirt. Here's something to think about. What happens when a corrupt and immoral government works for decades to turn people into unemployed welfare dependents? What happens when millions of people grow up believing that they don't have to work, that America owes them free food and rent and cell phones? Well, <laughs> we're now a nation that can have rioting and looting at the touch of a button. If the Obama administration switches off the old EBT cards, the welfare entitlement people will go on the warpath. Now, welfare was supposed to be a helping hand for those who truly needed it, but scumbag politicians turned it into a vote-buying scheme and enabled millions of people who just don't like to work to make welfare their career. And now the left-wing extremists in Washington, D.C. have the power to create a riot wherever and whenever they want. Well, here's a Wild Bill bullet of truth. Anyone who is capable of rioting is also capable of getting a job and doesn't need welfare. Now, never forget the motto of the Democrats. Never let a crisis go to waste. Massive rioting would be yet another opportunity for them to step on basic freedoms in the name of security. And after seeing what the Obama administration did to our people in Benghazi, there is no doubt in my mind that they would not hesitate to create bloody rioting and looting if it would further their agendas. I think the reason they haven't done it already is because most of the welfare parasites are in Democrat-controlled urban areas and they wouldn't be able to blame those riots on conservatives. Now, as America's leading liberalologist, I am warning you all that we are committing national suicide by welfare. It's time for the sons and daughters of liberty to defend this nation against foolish politics and the fools who think they're getting away with it. T-Teams USA are now doing investigations into dirty politics, and we need people in all 50 states to join the teams and start building cases against the worst political rascals in America. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.